Right, can we move on to planning applications, committee report number four, Councillor Cuff, where we were. Thank you, Madam Mayor. A real showstopper of a debate so far. I see most of the members have lost their nerve and they're not going to come back and join us for planning. Um, well, I'll just, because we're in the lateness of the hour, I'll, I'll just make a couple of points um, to start this debate. Um, I think the first is that I think even perhaps five years ago, um, it would have been considered fanciful at best and uh, perhaps just a waste of time at worst to debate the kind of things and talk about the kind of things I think we will talk about um, over the next five, ten minutes or so. Um, you ask people, I think, if you went far back five years and you ask people where indeed the Nine Elms was uh, and you, you put out a map, I think they'd be hard pressed to try and point to anywhere within the, uh, the M25 and they'd probably point somewhere which was foresty uh, uh, north, north of England or something. And then if you ask people what exactly happened in the Nine Elms, I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't have a clue what took place there. Uh, and one or two people might be able to guess that there's a market and there's the Royal Mail and, and leave it at that. And so then if you said to them, well, what might you think would happen to the place in five, ten years' time, and talked about some of the transformational uh, events which are going on in this part of London, uh, I think they'd simply laugh in your face. Um, a lot can change in five years. And I'm reminded of a famous architect um, by the name of Richard Rogers who said that to change an area, you need really three base ingredients. The first is a favourable economic climate. The second is an enabling planning regime. And the third is a vision, a bold and courageous vision for an area. And I think five years ago, Wandsworth and others started out with that vision. Um, and that vision was to create a new urban quarter, a new urban quarter for new homes, for new jobs, and with a Northern Line extension. And we took that vision to the investment community, we took that uh, vision to the government, we took that vision to the uh, business world at large. And there was a lot of scepticism, and there was indeed quite a lot of scepticism in this chamber uh, about what we, the messages we were trying to put across. But five years is a long time, and slowly but surely, those plans have gained uh, momentum and now we're witnessing a quite fantastic amount of change which will take place over the next few years uh, in the Nine Elms. Already over 4,000 homes have received planning consent. Uh, another 7,000 are due to come to the planning committee over the next six months. Nearly 2,000 affordable homes in that 